All right, guys. How's it going? Awesome Soul back again with some more Space Engineers Community Spotlight. Uh, today, I will be reviewing the uh, SC Mastodon by uh, Steam user Silver Archon. Uh, he's created also a few other ships and some space stations. Uh, if you would like to check those out, um, the save file, Soul Corp Pikeman Space Dock, is in the description below. Um, station's pretty cool. I haven't had a chance to check that out yet, but I think I will on my own time, simply because doing that would take up a lot of the episode. Uh, so, here we are. We got a really nice uh, hangar here. Very large, could fit quite a lot of uh, ships in. Uh, some more point defense turrets, I always like seeing those. Uh, down there is just a little uh, viewing platform. Uh, some storage in here. I'm not quite sure what these are meant to be. I think they might be pipes of some kind. Uh, in here we got more storage. Always nice. And a neat little ventilation system down there. It's always cool to see. More gyroscope rooms in there. And... It's a very cool asymmetrical ship, but there's a few things that... are... are uh, I have a bit gripey about, I guess. Uh, long hallways like this that lead to nowhere are just a little annoying. And this here, where the stairs don't quite match up with the floor. Other than that, it's a really fantastic ship. Well-designed interior. I haven't really gotten lost once yet. Um, it has a very nice flow to it, I guess you could say. There's no like multiple branching paths. It's going to take you where you need to go. So you got a little command post in here on the uh, mid-level. And coming up here, got another room, I guess. This could be a waiting area of some kind, or a guard post, I don't know. Again, there's not that many blocks to work with currently. Still in beta. Um, in there, we got an exit for the upper area, uh, or airlock, whatever you want to call it. Another workstation, just a smaller one. And coming up here, one more room, and then we go up to the very large lookout area. Um, it's kind of cool, but I don't know, from a <laughs> defensive standpoint, it's not very structurally sound. It's very cool, though. It seems to be more of a carrier and cargo ship there, rather than just a warship. So I guess you don't really need to worry about that too much. Uh, but, it's got a nice little spinning thing there from the uh, new <laughs> rotator block. It's always nice to see that. Uh, it's the first I've actually seen it in action on a ship. Uh, it looks like you got one on the side there, but it's not spinning for whatever reason. Anyways, so I've gotten a uh, <laughs> few requests from some viewers that want to see me crash their ships I review. So, I think I will do that. So, here we go. Pull up the uh, statistics for you, craf crashing it into the jaf yeah, the javelin. Sorry. If I can aim this thing correctly. Come on. Good power usage. It's just when it's doing very sharp turns, it's going to drain power. It's the only thing I found that's wrong with the ship. Okay, maybe it's just lag, but <laughs> oh well, that'll do for now. Wow, <laughs> pretty bulky ship here. Uh, it's some pretty nice damage. I think I'm actually hooked into the ship. Anyways.
Yeah, actually. I was sort of hooked in. Now I'm caught in their gravity. Uh, that's going to do it for this ship. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, Steam page is in the description, as usual, and I will be right back with the next ship. Alright, I am back, and I got something different yet again. This time I got a mini-game called Space Bowling, made by uh, Steam user Da Veramini? Is that how you pronounce it? I apologize if I butchered that. I probably did. But, um, aim of the game is quite simple. It's just like normal bowling, except in this case... Uh, at the very end, you've got your pins, and you'll notice they have uh, square rings around the top of them. So the point of this game is to knock the rings clean off the pins, not just simply knock them over. So we got our space bowling ball here. And there is no middle cockpit, so you have to choose either left or right and sort of adjust your aim based upon that. So, uh, make sure not to move the mouse while you're still on the track, otherwise you're gonna cause a bit of a problem. Anyways, come down here, get off, and then adjust your trajectory. Oh man. Totally balls that up. See, you are going to get pins that like slightly nudge each other like that, but that doesn't count as a uh, taking the ring off. Uh, well, so it's about three, I'd say. Because things are going to drift, obviously. But uh, So that's space bowling. A uh, fairly simple game, pretty well designed though. Um, yeah, go check that out in the description. Uh, leave a like on the Steam page. Same with the other ship I reviewed. Uh, don't forget to like the video, uh, add to favorites if you'd like. And uh, I will see you next week with the more Space Engineers Community Spotlight. See you next time.